We're going to go through the town of Bisbee, and then we're going to head to Tombstone and show you some more cool stuff. Yeah, the only thing is uh, it's 12 o'clock, 12.30, and we've only gone 50, 82 miles today. <laughs> <laughs> we got so some ground to make up. we got to get rolling <laughs> it's here. It's going to get cold and dark. Get right? into Tombstone and have a nice time there as well. Can't wait for you guys to see that. Let's do it. Yeah, big dog. We just made it to Tombstone, and okay. Danielle is doing the right thing. Yeah, right? she's taking pictures. Taking a picture. Eric's over there. Where are we at, sir? We're in Tombstone, Harley Davidson. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Legend has it, this was Doc Holliday's personal bike. I believe it to be true. All right, first time seeing a Tombstone. Dude, this is cool, man. I feel like I'm like walking through a Western film right now. I forgot my six shooter though, so I'm a little bit worried. We got you covered. I'm gonna go catch a ride. I'll be right back. Well, we're here, uh, the Oriental Palace here, the Crystal Palace, uh, the Longhorn. I think we had our gunfight right here. here. Right. Um, you'll have to go back and look at that one. We also brought Rob here at one point. We did. We yeah. did. Now we got Laidlaw and his group here. That's right. Checking out the old west. Well, let's go show them the OK Corral. All right. Oh, we ended up in an establishment of drinks. How about that? I think we need a beer. Yep. Yep, yep. Can you hear that rain? Can you see that rain? We're trying to decide whether we have a plan B here or not. Uh, it's about nine hours up into Jerome, but Maybe we go to Payson and hang out for a bit. Maybe we hang out here for a bit and let this kind of mellow out a little bit. Yeah, who planned this trip? I think it was Tulane that, that planned it. It wasn't me. These guys are always booked, you know, like they're doing all kinds of gigs all over the country, so it's hard. Well, to... I gotta say this though. Everything we do and everywhere we've been for the last couple of years has been fate. So for some reason, this is happening and we'll find out. It's gonna be good, I hope. And what's your take on fate and taking the route that's five hours longer to also be in the rain. Uh, you know, embrace the suck, I guess. I like that. Wise words. Yeah. What do you want to tell the people? Get on the ride, guys. Look at the weather. It's perfect. I'm with people I don't even know. And I'm far away from home. And I'm happy. We had it. Yo, what's happening? It's raining in Tombstone, man. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Uh, I like this drum. So we're here at Fly's Boarding House. This is where I used to sit. And there was a famous person that stayed here, Doc Holliday. And rumor has it, uh, he was here with Big Nose Kate. And she was looking down on the house when people came in and started shooting up the family's home. Right, right. Yeah, well, you know, I think they did photography here as well, and this is when they had the shootout outside. Bullets were coming in here as well. And there was, I don't know who was in here, but there were people in here. There were. Yes, there were, and they were freaking hit. <laughs> well, as you go through this place, you're gonna see a lot of, you know, history around the, the Mexican earthquake, the Apache Scouts, Geronimo surrenders, you got a picture of Big Nose Cave here. And this room, we'll get a shot of it, was kind of a period room that they made up to look like the room yes. he was in. Yes, he spent a lot of time here as well. He did. Joined by Wyatt's good friend, Doc Holliday, and lots of the struggle for political and economic control. 